What's up, FOA squad? <laughs> I don't know why I'm in such a happy mood today. It is like the gloomiest day. It started off raining and everything else, as I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. But today, guys, I'm going to be fixing. And I don't know why it would make me fix this, because it's not like I saw a recent video on it on YouTube or anything. But today, I'm going to be fixing some sweet potato fried rice. Oh, that sounds good, don't it? Now, I am not a huge fan of sweet potatoes at all. The only time I really eat sweet potatoes is during the holidays where we make sweet potato pies. But other than that, I rarely ever use or eat sweet potatoes. But today, I'm going to do some sweet potato fried rice. So let's just get into it. I am going to be taking a shortcut with the rice. I did not feel like fixing rice. You know, when it's gloomy outside, it just, sometimes it just affects your mood. And... uh I think that's what's happening to me today. So, my shortcut is going to be this Ben's, Uncle Ben's Original Jasmine Rice. You know, with this rice, you gotta make sure you squeeze it to help separate the rice on the inside of it. <clears throat> Otherwise, when you go to put it in your pan, it's gonna be clunks, and you don't want that. It's, it's not, it wouldn't be the end of the world. You just, you, it's more work you have to do to separate the rice. So you might as well take a few minutes and do it before you open the pack and put it into your pan. All right, I'm also gonna do some uh, some peas and carrots up in there. Got some peppers and some onions in here as well. I bought one sweet potato, one, because I'm trying to make this a one serving meal. Look at this little, oh my goodness, let me tell y'all about Winn-Dixie. Now, if you're from the South, you know about Winn-Dixie. I guess they're kinda in competition with Publix or Kroger or something, Kroger. But I bought these little dishes they had. They were a dollar and 25 cent. How about that dollar 25 cent tree? Ha ha, grocery store, dollar and 25 cent. But Winn-Dixie, now I have gone in one Winn-Dixie before and that was in Fort Lauderdale and it was like probably the worst grocery experience. The food and stuff was so expensive in there. The market was, I don't want to say it was dirty, nor do I want to say it was ghetto. Wait, wait. But <coughs> this one here in Dade City, well, not Dade City, but close. It might be considered Dade City. I don't know. But close to the campground, it was immaculate. I was like, Oh my goodness, and I was just walking around, just looking at all how clean it was. It must be a fairly new uh, grocery store. Actually, I met a guy here at the campground that told me that it was there because I was driving to the Publix to get, you know, the sushi and everything else. Anyway, let's get into this cooking. All right, first thing I wanna do is cut up some veggies and get all that stuff done and then we'll get into the fried rice i decided to come on out of the gazebo and cook outside oh well i'm already outside but you know here Ugh. all righty I don't need that much. I think that's enough for one serving. I'm gonna take some onion. It's nice to cook outdoors, even though it's not the best with weather. You get to hear the birds and stuff still in the background. 
I don't know if you guys can hear him, but I can still hear him. Also gonna put some garlic in here. This should be a fairly simple meal. All right, guys, I already took the skin off of the sweet potatoes. I actually took the veggies back out of the frying pan because I want to get some cook on the sweet potatoes first, and then I'll put the veggies back in. I really don't want a lot of these because I don't, this dish is about the fried rice and not the sweet potatoes. The sweet potatoes are just an add-on. I think that's enough. What you think? I think that's enough. Because once again, it's not about the <clears throat> sweet potatoes. It's about the fried rice. All right, I'm going to run these over to the sink, give them a quick wash, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. <clears throat> I already rinsed off the sweet potatoes and they go. Not a whole lot of them. Now I'm not gonna put anything on the sweet potatoes like cinnamon, excuse me, cinnamon, butter, and all that stuff. Cause once again, it's not about the uh, sweet potatoes, it's about the fried rice. So I got some, I got my pepper out here some fried rice mixture which someone sent to me thank you once again and i'm also going to use some soy sauce as well as some oyster sauce <clears throat> got my rice All right, guys, the sweet potatoes are browning up a little bit. I want them to be soft, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rice in here because I want the rice to <clears throat> fry up, so to speak. there we go I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in here to help that rice to fry up okay that was a, that was a, I went a little heavy-handed on that oh my goodness <laughs> All right, let's hit it with some seasonings. Some pepper. Some of the fried rice seasoning. I'm 
I want a generous amount of this fried rice. After all, it is sweet potato fried rice. Now let's go with some soy sauce. Looking good, looking good, looking good. And last, some oyster sauce. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wowzer, that is coming out pretty good. All right, let me get my veggies back in. And I'm gonna go get one egg and then that's gonna be the final ingredient. I'm gonna let that go ahead and cook up a little bit. I'm gonna go get my top and put my top on there. Before I put my top on there, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of hot sauce. Give it a little bit of heat. All right, guys, I'm gonna clean up this a little bit and then uh, that should be just about ready. All right, guys, last but not least, the egg. I feel like I should put two eggs in there. Officially looks like some fried rice. <laughs> Man, that looks pretty good. Let me show you guys what it looks like. There it is, guys. Oh my goodness, that looks so nice. It's like colorful and everything. All right, let's plate it up or bowl it up and see how it tastes. All right, guys, there it is, the finished product. Sweet potato fried rice. I'm so ready to dig in and try it. All righty. Let's see, 
Man, oh man, whoever sent me that, that fried rice mix um, seasoning, thank you once again, because man, I can really taste that, that fried rice seasoning. This is some kind of good, boy. Mm, wowza, wowza, wowza. Nice and simple. I just out of the blue decided to cut some sweet potatoes and put in there with them. Mm. This is so good. Got some some peas, some carrots, sweet potatoes. I mean, I would think this is a healthy meal. Only thing I could have done different to make it healthier was to use brown rice instead of white rice, but I'm not a big fan of brown rice. Mm. When I tell y'all it is cold here, it's like only 60 degrees. Look at me. Got my uh, Life with Anthony hat on, long sleeves, t-shirt. Not my ideal Florida weather. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, 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 mm. Can y'all see the frost on that bottle? That came out of my refrigerator. See that? I got a good refrigerator. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all know I always got something to say when I'm cooking and eating. So, I'm thinking... I'm thinking, it's not for uh, not for sure. I'm thinking of doing a California meetup. I'm thinking because after I come back from the cruise on February 25th, I have like a week and a half of time that I have nothing scheduled or planned. So I thought now this was this is really not about going to California. It's more, it's more about well it's about going to California, but it's about going to California for a specific reason. And since I'm going to be in California for this specific reason, I thought and I had my I had some days in between before I go to my next campground after I come off the cruise that I would just make it an extended period of time for like a week or so and incorporate other California cities. And I'm thinking I'm going to have a couple of meetups in California. Now, <clears throat> mm. that bite I must have had a lot of the sweet potatoes in there because I could taste the sweet potatoes in that bite mm, 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 mm. okay so the reason why I'm going to or thinking thinking now it's not definite because I know somebody gonna be like oh I'm thinking is Disneyland. 
Now, I've been to Disney World down here in Orlando so many times. And I've been told many times, you know, well, Disneyland, once you've been to Disney World, Disneyland is no comparison because it's just two parks in Disneyland. I think they have kind of like an uh, amusement park based one park and then the whole fantasy of Disneyland park. So since I am not a rider of rides like I used to be when I was much younger, I most likely will not go to the, the amusement park one. But I do at least want to go to Disneyland regardless of the comparison. I still want to go and say that I have been there. So it's a good possibility. I haven't really looked into accommodations or anything like that yet, but it is a good possibility that I might use that time that I have nothing planned after I come from the cruise to take a trip to California. Now, let me tell you what I'm thinking if I happen to do this. I would stay in Oh, excuse me. I would stay in Los Angeles because I did look up the distance between Anaheim, California, which is where Disneyland is, and Los Angeles. And it's about 35, 35 minutes. Then I also know that San Diego is about two hours from Los Angeles because I did that before years and years ago with Lamont. So I'm thinking it's going to be a meetup in Los Angeles and a meetup in San Diego. I went to the San Diego Zoo. I don't remember a lot about that trip. So I more than likely will be going back to the San Diego Zoo again. Who knows, I might have a meetup at the San Diego Zoo, but I don't know how people feel who live in San Diego who probably have been to the zoo a thousand times about going and having a meetup at the zoo. So I don't know yet. Again, all of these are at the beginning stages of thought in my head. Uh, again, I'm not sh for certain if it's going to happen, but it's more of a chance that it will happen than it will not happen. So with that being said, if you are in the Los Angeles area and or the San Diego area, um, just know that there might be a couple of meetups coming your way. I get comments all the time where people say, when are you coming to California? And I recently made a comment saying, you know, between California, New York, and Washington, D.C., those are the states or cities that I wouldn't know where to begin to have a meetup. Um, I mentioned that before. But anywho, that is going to do it. This is a big wowza, wowza, wowza. It's my, well, not mine, but it's sweet potato fried rice try it you might like it all right guys that's going to do it for today's video as always thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos a special thanks to the joint foas i appreciate your effort your extra effort and support of the foa community as well as myself and i'll see you guys the next time